myself pavani i am working as assistant professor in csc aml department at mlr institute of technology today i would like to give a session on semantic analysis in previous video we discussed about uh, machine translation today we will start with the semantic analysis here what is the meaning of semantic analysis let's see uh, before that uh, we have to see the overview of the today's session so uh, introduction about the semantic analysis and what is the meaning and representation of semantic analysis it means how we are represent the semantic analysis in real time and building blocks of a semantic system and lexical semantics these are the topics to cover this today's session coming to the introduction so semantic analysis is the process of understanding the meaning from a text so that means we have to understand the text meaning it allows computers to understand and interpret the sentences paragraphs or old documents by analyzing their grammatical structure and identifying relationship between the individual words in a particular context that means what is the meaning of the semantic analysis means we have to understand the meaning of the text and find out there is a relationship between the meaning to that means word to word word to word word to word specification that means here identify the relationship between the individual words that means there is a relationship between the word to word relation that means in the sentence that means context this is the meaning of semantic analysis so it is a ai driven tool can help companies automatically extract the meaningful information from unstructured data to structured data such as emails support tickets and customer feedback in emails and next uh, e-commerce sites like this we can collect the data from this by using this tool so how semantic rule analysis will work right so here semantic analysis in semantic analysis lexical semantics plays an important role why it plays an important role because it involves studying between the relationship between the lexical item items it means what to what relationship between the words and in sentence so it deals with the meaning of the words then how semantic analysis is different from anal lexical analysis let's see the question it dealing with the meaning of the words right then how the semantic analysis different from lexical analysis let's see the answer it is based on the smaller token that means suppose whenever we are taking a paragraph suppose whenever we are taking a paragraph we have to divide this paragraph into words that means tokens then we have to find out there is any is there any relationship between the word to word so this is a meaning of that one it is a based on smaller token but on other side semantic analysis focus on larger chunks suppose in paragraph contains a, what is a head chunk means meaningful word meaningful group of words that means it is a large data set so what is the difference between lexical semantic and semantic analysis means lexical semantics only focus on the smaller tokens but the semantic analysis focus on large chunks this is the difference right here see the semantic analysis there are two parts in semantic analysis first one lexical semantic and compositional semantics what is the meaning of your lexical analysis means we already see right divides the individual words that means only focus on the small tokens right studies individual words and their meaning focus on small words that means words or tokens it is called as a lexical analysis let's see the example understand the meaning of the word bank here what is the here what is the meaning of the bank here it can be river or financial institution this is the meaning of this, that means that means how many ways the word we, we can specify right in two ways we can specify here here we can call it as a river bank or financial institution right this is the lexical semantics next one composition sentences what is the meaning of composition semantics right study how words combine to form a sentences that means we can combine after after we combine the words it it frame a sentences that means it forms a single meaningful sentence analyze the structure and combines the meaning to understand the sentence level meaning that means we have to understand that meaning of word in sentence level 
See, let's see the example here. Sentence Ram is great, right? Analyze whether Ram is a person or Lord Ram. Like Lord Ram. Here, Ram is a person or Lord Rama, right? Analyze whether the Ram is a person and what uh, here uh, also whether Ram is a person and great is also refers to what? Whether why the job to get proper meaning of sentence semantic analyzer is important. So that whenever we have to specify the particular word is why important is that we use the semantic analysis. Semantic analysis involves creating a structured representation of meanings in sentence. That means word to word relationship between. That means we have to follow some uh, rules and regulations to follow the structure. So here before that uh, we have to know the building blocks of semantic systems. We have, uh, this is a two marks question, right? Building blocks of semantic systems. There are four entities, concepts, relations and predicates, right? So, what is the meaning of entity? That means really relationship. That is, it refers to the individual things right? like Ram, Haryana, India, a person, location, etc. So, what is a concept? This is a overall representation of the category. That means here entity comes under which category? Like city, person, place, etc. Like this. That means it, it represents concept, means we have to represent in a category. Like relation. It so it it shows the relationship between entities and concepts. That means there is a relationship between entity and concept. Here, Ram specifies which category? Person category. Here, Haryana specifies which category? Like city. India specifies the place. Like this, we have to mention there is a relationship between the entities and concepts. That is the meaning of relations. Next, what is the meaning of predicate? Represents the web structure. That means action states. It includes roles like subject, object, verb, like and case grammar. These are the predicates. We have to indicate by using the predicates. Next, see what is the meaning representation of the semantic analysis. Here, first one, linking of listic elements to non-listic elements. Here, what is the meaning of listic elements and non-listic elements? Eh? With the help of the meaning representation, linking of logistic elements to non logistic elements can be done. So, by using in semantic analysis, whenever we, we want to link between the logistic elements to non logistic elements, with the help of the meaning representation only, make it is possible, right? Let's see the second one representing variety. Variety at lexical level. With the help of meaning representation only, unambiguous canonical forms can be represented. By using the meaning representation, we can uh, we can we can represent the unambiguous words and canonical forms of words, right? It can be used for reasoning. With the help of meaning and representation, verifying what is true in the world as well as into their knowledge from the sentence representation. Which type of words can be used for reasoning? These are the meaning and representation of why why we are using meaning representation, why it is important. Let's see approaches to the meaning and representation, right? Here, what is the first one? FOPL, first order predicate logic. What is the meaning of uh, first order predicate logic? Is it expresses the variables, objects, and relationship between the words by using the logic. Here, what is the logic? Here, P of X is a colon, X is x here x is the subject and 5x is the predicate what is what is the condition x is the greater than or equal to or less than or equal to is the some condition right this is the meaning of the condition why we represent in a logical way so it is known as a quantifunctional logic or predicate calculation so next one Semantic nets are semantic networks. Here it is a graph structure. Here see the example. Ram is a boy. Here Ram boy. A relationship between is easy is a relationship. Here it is the arc symbol, right? Easy is a relationship. It means it represents by using the relationship. Okay. Next to frames. 
a collection of attributes and values describing identity consists of slots and filters filters for structured knowledge it's an example a frame for boy may include here boy it in the place of boy name age gender like this frame this is one of the frame we call it as a frame it contains the subject object and gender's name states next one conceptual dependency what, what is the meaning of conceptual dependency these are the approaches to do the semantic analysis represents knowledge with limited primitives and transformation rules let's see the example ram eats an apple right could be converted into conceptual form using predefined actions and roles let's see the rule based architecture use of if then here we are using the if then rules right to infer the new knowledge allows for logical reasoning by converting rules into equivalent logical sentences that means we have to convert the in, uh, sentence into logical sentence by using here we are using, using the rules what is the meaning of here case grammar holistic theory focus on semantic rules that means what are the semantic rules like agent action object subject these are all the comes under semantic rules of in the lexical semantics right it helps identify how elements in sentence relate to each other that means word to word representation how they are related to each other let's see the example ram eats apple right here ram eats apple here ram is the agent apple is the object eats is the action here ram eats apple here ram is the agent apple is the object eat is the action ram eats apple this is the representation of the in case grammar what is the meaning of conceptual graphs visual structures that represent concepts and relationships can be individual that means generic useful in understanding events and context whenever we have to use uh, conceptual graphs when represent the concepts and relationships in a individual manner or generic manner that means based on the understanding the events we can use this uh, approach in semantic analysis let's see the next topic lexical semantics here what is the meaning of lexical semantics we already understand right it plays a major role in semantic analysis and by using lexical semantics we have to understand the small tokens right the first part of semantic analysis studying the meaning of individual words is called lexical semantics that means individual words we have to understand the meaning of the individual words sub words affixes compound words and phrases all these words sub words etc are collectively called as a lexical items a sentence contains a nouns phrases objects affixes prefixes right phrases these are all called as a lexical items noun phrase verb phrase subject object affixes these are all in sentences right these are all called as a lexical items this is one item this is another item it's all called as a lexical items so lexical semantics relationship between the lexical items the meaning sentences and syntax of the syntax syntax sentences <laughs> lexical semantics is the relationship between the lexical items the meaning of sentences and syntax of sentences here let's see the steps to follow in lexical semantics is first classification is required after classification decomposition of the lexical items into their meaningful components first we have to we have to take the paragraph then classify the paragraph into tokens after tokenization decomposition the lexical item to their meaningful component means frame the sentence the exact sentence analysis the differences and similarities between the various lexical semantic structures there is any relationship between the word to word we have to find out any differences any similarities we have to find out here in this step let's see the next important one elements of semantic analysis there are there are several uh, elements are there in semantic analysis first one hyponymy what is the meaning of hyponymy it is uh, the hyponymy may be defined as relationship between generic term and syntax that generic term the generic term is called hyponym hyponym 
instances are called as hyponyms. Here, what is the meaning of hyponym and hyponymy is, suppose we have to take the word color. It is a hyponym. That means we are taking the word color. It is a hyponym. The generic term is called a hyponym. The color contains several are there. Some blue color, yellow color, red color, pink. These are all under comes under hyponyms. Right? Understand the point. What is the meaning of hyponymy? Hyponymy is relationship between the generic term. Here the generic term means suppose take the example color. Color is the hyponym. The color contains several multiple colors, right? Yellow color, blue color, green color, pink color. These are all under comes under hyponyms. This is the meaning of hyponymy. Understand the example, then you will get the clear idea about hyponymy. Next, homonymy. What is the meaning of these are all elements in a semantic analysis? What is the meaning of homonymy? It is defined as a word having same spelling or same form but having different and unrelated meaning. Here, see the what is the meaning of homonymy is it is having the same spelling but there is a different meaning. This is the meaning of homonymy. Let's see the example the word bat. Here, bat comes, it is an animal or a cricket bat. Let's see, this is a homonym because it can be refers to an implement, hit a ball or flying mammal. Like but spelling is same, B-A-T, both are same, but there is a different meaning, right? Cricket bat or mammal, that means animal. This is the meaning of homonymy. Let's see the third one, polysemy. What is the meaning of here polysemy? A word has different but related sense. Word has different but related sense. There is a Difference between the word to word is based on the sense. So, polysemy implies same spelling but related meanings. So, let's see the example. Already we discussed, right? Bank. Bank comes from river bank or by financial institution, right? The building where the institution is located and a synonym for to relay on. This is the meaning of polysemy. Let's see the synonymy. What is the meaning of here synonymy? The relationship between two lexical items having different forms but expressing close or similar meaning. Let's see here. It is a relationship between two lexical items. That means word to word relationship between having different forms but expressing a close similar meaning. But both are expressing the same meaning. Similar meaning, not same, exact same meaning. Similar meaning. This is the meaning of synonymy. Let's see the example author. Author we call it as a uh, writer. Writer we call it as a author. That means similar meaning is there, bo but both are not same. Author will not uh, writer, author, writer will not a uh, author. Right? Fate density. These are the examples of the synonymy. Let's see next one antonomy. And what is the meaning of antonomy? It is a relationship between two lexical items showing opposite meaning. Let's see here opposite meaning or semantic symmetry related to an axis. Let's remember that one opposite meaning. This is enough, right? Let's see the examples. Application of property, not life, death. Like these are the exact meaning of antonomy. Quite opposite. Opposite meanings. Here, life, life opposite meaning is death, right? Rich, poor, hot, cold, father, son, moon, sun. These are the opposite meanings of the words. Comes under antonomy. This is all about the elements of semantic analysis. Very, very important one. Hyponymy, homonymy, polysomy, and synonymy, antonymy. So, what we discussed in today's session is introduction to semantic analysis. And next one, meaning and representation. And elements of semantic analysis and lexical semantics. Elements of lexical semantics. Thank you.